everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hus. Today on Survival Today, we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, boom, we got some brand new mercenary update info coming our way, including the release date and when we can expect to have this in our hands, and a couple of other things, including how we are going to be able to hire mercenaries ourselves and even the potential to become a mercenary. That's right. And really quickly, I did want to let you guys know that we are actually live right now with some last day on earth over on dlive.tv slash star for a fun friday stream make sure to head on over there link will be the first link in the description and the top of the pinned comment as well you guys can also download the dlive android or ios app and just look up star snipe over there we should be live definitely hit that follow button as well once you have that account created and that ios and android app is going to be awesome because it allows you to actually make money while you watch streams yes that is right just for watching streams and chatting and chat and being active you will be rewarded with this treasure chest that you could open and you actually gain currency from very cool stuff so hopefully you guys start capitalizing on that i will hopefully be seeing you guys over there and while we are live streaming i'm more than happy to try and answer some of you guys' questions that you could then drop in chat because like we could chat live and hang out live it's super cool we also do have a live streaming schedule we are live every monday wednesday friday at 6 p.m central time that is like chicago time so if that's not your time zone you can just look up like a time zone conversion and also saturday at 1 p.m central time as well and we are planning a special sunday last day on earth live stream as well with a huge giveaway over there so really looking forward to that hopefully i see you guys in preparations for that and hopefully i see you guys for that big sunday stream too and okay back to the video so without further ado let's dive in the first thing that you guys are seeing over here was a reply that last day on earth the official last day on earth twitter account did earlier today to this feller benny saying i love this game but i'm waiting for the next update when will that be and by the looks of it it appears that next week is when at least at the time being barring any delays or anything like that we can expect the mercenary update update to become ours so right off the bat already some great info because we do have like a rough time frame for expecting this bad boy and as we've been talking about in the past couple videos the mercenaries update has been getting a lot of awesome info coming out about it including in case you guys do not know that we will be able to hire bodyguards pretty much like these mercenaries will act as bodyguards that follow us around we could equip them with like whatever armor we choose we could give them weapons that they could equip we could give them like potentially hatchets kind of they work similar to tom over at the oak event and the old smugglers camp event if any of you guys are around from those super ye olden days and every single bodyguard slash mercenary is gonna have different strengths and weaknesses so definitely looking forward to it it's gonna be a hype update and we know that we can expect it, at least at the time being next week but again this all depends on how like bug fixing goes and making sure that the release is bleh, the release of the update is smooth and all but right now this is the time frame that we can expect boom here though we have some more interesting replies from last day on earth regarding some of these mercenaries as well we're over here you have this little thread this is all on their official twitter by the way where uh someone was asking how do we end up paying these mercenaries and a big thing that a lot of people were expecting was you know we could finally use gold or something like that and here last day on earth replies carrots or c4 they haven't decided yet so it does appear that i mean i think they might be joking when they say you might be able to pay them with carrots or c4 because those are like polar opposites c4 is one of the most valuable things in the game and carrots it's it's one of the least valuable things in the game it's down there with berry tea barely above berry tea but still it's down there but uh by the way that last day on earth is responding to this it does appear that this might work in a system similar to the rating system because there's they're given a couple of different possibilities for how we could end up paying them right instead of just like specifically gold like a lot of people have been thinking because mercenaries freaking love gold rule number one of mercenaries so I'm thinking the way that it's shaping up is that it might be kind of similar to the rating system where it's something you guys are going to see later on in today's video when we come back from a daily raid over at SSRZ that we got going on. But uh, when you do return from a raid that you go out on your own, the raiders ask for their fair share. So it could be kind of similar to that where we could give these mercenaries a variety of items similar to that raider interface and maybe depending on how much we give them, that might depend on how good of a mercenary we get maybe that's how it's going to work instead of us 
us being able to like specifically choose like, hey, I want you to be my mercenary. Maybe it all depends on how many goods we give to like a mercenary camp leader who then like assigns a mercenary to us. You know what I'm saying? So definitely some interesting takeaways over there. Let me know what you guys think regarding this though and any and all of this info coming out. And boom, here we have another interesting thing. This has my hype meter climbing a little bit higher than expected. So in reply to this thread, someone also asked, I wonder if I can be a mercenary. Last day on earth replied, ask them. Huh? Uh, by the looks of it, they're, 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 they're hinting towards the ability to become a mercenary ourselves. And this kind of makes sense, too, with, like, the little job board or whatever that's on there. Because that's a job board that we have seen in similar mobile survival games that run on the same engine as Last Day on Earth. Like, Westland Survival, if you guys know Westland Survival, there's kind of a similar job board, but it's called, like, a bounty board. It is how we actually gain this one quest. Like, it's how we get, like, a, our bounty hunter quest. And here's the interesting thing. If you guys have not been around the Last Day on Earth slash mobile survival scene, a lot of these similar games, such as Grim Soul Survival... Westland survival they tend to have last day on earth they tend to have a little bit of feature crossover since they are all developed on the same game engine so this bulletin board could end up functioning like that job board that we see in Westland survival that gives us literal quests that you could like track in like a quest tracking system and like you can like check up on your progress all that type of jazz so this could potentially be not just the ability to hire mercenaries to help us but these mercenaries might be very helpful in helping us go out on these quests and this might be our first taste into like a more ref defined and just in-depth quest system coming to last day on earth as well as we ourselves take some of these jobs because you guys could see some of those like pieces of paper up on that board that's literally like a job board if i've ever seen one so as we take some jobs and potentially work our way towards becoming an honorary member of such a mercenary camp but regardless that is definitely some hypeness behind it because dude actually being able to like become a mercenary become friends with the mercenary faction befriend them and then like go out on quests with our mercenary friends that just sounds like so much freaking fun and that's a feature especially in westland survival which i do want to start checking out more by the way uh, but that is a feature in westland survival that i really love where like you can have like a daily bounty kind of so maybe that could be like a mercenary bounty board that we are seeing within this screenshot and subsequently it'll like have us hunting like going in mercenary groups to hunt down people or something of the sort but whatever it be it's definitely some exciting stuff because being able to take quests from that board and potentially have those quests work towards us gaining like mercenary status ourselves is something very cool but that is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the information that we got coming out today definitely let me know what you guys think regarding this because these are a couple of interesting little hidden pieces of, 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 of hints of info that last down are sprinkled in in a usually something that people don't see which is twitter replies they just sprinkled them in in there all sneaky deaky like in ho 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 baby we were able to unearth them and as such we were able to unearth some very very interesting things so like i'm saying let me know your guys's thoughts around the potential to like what you guys think about potentially becoming a mercenary of our own what you guys think about that bulletin board being able to take quests if those quests maybe help us with our mercenary status and how like we might be able to trade in because i mean it could the, the trading system to hire a mercenary could still end up working in like a similar fashion to what people were expecting where you just have to pay them a specific item like or maybe like it'll be like a trader where they ask for specific items or it might be like the raider interface where you just give them anything and each item kind of has like its own quote unquote worth and then they decide if that's enough for them to be hired or something like that so definitely let me know what you guys think surrounding that in that comment section down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one a third of the way into wiggy tribe that I do touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to hit that like button make sure subscribed that will ensure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when set a rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the widow for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest or greatest of last day on earth videos that y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that you should definitely give a look ski doodle in case you have 
not already not to mention of course that that notification bell is an awesome way of staying up to date with the latest and greatest of last day on earth information coming out and as you guys are seeing today we dig deeper than just the surface than what's officially announced by last day on earth through like the discord channel through their news through their facebook group we always go deeper and we are looking for everything that we could find every little bit of info to make you guys as informed as possible about the future of last day on earth what to expect etc etc and we can actually over here expect a little bit of death coming towards the witch and oh we gotta hit a little bit of that slow mo and then a whole ton of the pistol drizzle over here okay she's about to start running after us i don't like that i'm trying to run away we're gonna hit her with the slow mo here in just un momento get a little bit of separation whoop hit her with the slow mo and shortly she is gonna be calling her minions we need to take down the diseased wolf and there's about to be a ton of crawlers coming up after us but luckily we can deal with the crawlers in a pretty oh don't hurt me pretty orderly fashion once we once we kind of clump them up over here as you guys are seeing so without further ado let's try and line the shot up and bada bing shotgun rain bada boom goodbye to all of your crawling zombies i want the witch again and the witch will be coming our way let's go ahead and actually get a little bit of heals off there to make sure that we are at full health to withstand some of her strongest attacks if she decides to send them our way come on pupper help me out a little bit too here we're taking down this witch and uh, we do need to be a little bit evasive with the witch usually i like to run by like trees and stuff and see if we can't like get her to kind of use that to delay herself hit her with the slow-mo and then we have plenty of time it's a pistol drizzle her bootay. oh no i almost ran out of bounds that would have been whack because running out of bounds does reset the witch boss battle so okay let's just run around a little bit more and whoop hit her with the slow-mo come on pup catch up do a little bit of damage to this witch herself what is you doing baby what is you doing oh this witch is about to catch up with us most likely so we might need to withstand like one hit wasn't too bad slow-mo and we just got to bring her back down to 500 health and then we need to deal with her wave of hordes part two so let's just try to get i'm gonna try to get her stuck on this one tree here ah come on just kind of delay her a little bit nice 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 slow-mo and there we should be able to do the last bit of damage to bring her down to where is necessary let's also toss down a fresh pistol over there for us to utilize let's take down these, these diseased wolves as they run towards us because they are way faster than everything else that gets sent our way these crawlers are all about the same speed but the wolves are faster and they also cannot be killed in one lone blast of shotgun rain so it's just kind of a little situation where it's definitely better for us to uh Watch my call. Yeah. Who shot good rain? Ooh, I'm uh, loving it. And there, do we have more crawlers? Oh, we still got two more survivors. Uh, bye bye. It do the boats of you. And then the witch will come back at us with all her fury. But uh, we're going to try to shotgun rain the fury right out of her. Let's hit her with the slow mo and then start hitting her with a ton of some shotgun rain action. And okay, she's about to start speeding up again. When that happens, just want to make sure that we are getting that separation that we need. Maybe I, I know that that only healed 46 damage. Still, rather be safe. Make sure we have full health because the witch does have that one powerful attack oh baby but i think we just shot off her arm so i don't think she can do her powerful attack anymore oh my my god just stopped moving for a second how about we don't do that right now big boy okay let's just kind of continue moving moving is cool and a shot gun rain to the witch goodbye to you and we do not need to worry about her sending a horde our way for the next couple of days unfortunately she kind of sent a horde before i decided to appear so we kind of made a boo-boo over there but hey we got an airdrop that we could get on the way back home kind of on the way not really i mean it's not out of i mean it's a little bit out of the way whatevs it's an airdrop we could get good things because the witch area isn't exactly known for loot unless of course the witch drops her head while we still we still have our own witch head at home and if you have a witch head at your home i don't i do not believe that she can actually drop her own head oh get out of your toxic spinner shotgun rain i do not believe that she can drop her own head but i kind of like keeping my head because i usually don't use it because you can't actually use that head to like keep the horde away um i don't usually use it i just kind of like having it as a decorative piece kind of as a trophy so that's why i just kind of wish we could get more than just one but it, it does appear like it is pretty much limited to one witch head at the moment but all right we should have taken down everything right next to this airdrop let's get to the bottom of this crate and see what's with it and then let's get on with today's raiding shenanigans because oh you guys know me daily raiding that's my middle name star daily raiding snipe check it out full name what can i say 
<laughs> but let's make our way out of here and back on home so we can prepare our inventory for the raid and the shenanigans that are to come over at our buddy SSZ. Ah, that's just a dealer. If that was a motorcycle event, we might go to it. Uh, SSRZ over at our buddy's place there. We might need to use some fuel to drive over there too, but that's whatever. But make sure that the notification bell is hit for that info because we're always staying as up to date with the info as possible. Not just the info that Kafir officially releases, but also any info that they might drop in like Twitter replies and Discord chats, all that type of stuff. So we can combine as much info as possible in addition to the info we already have to what we already know exists in game the info already out there to give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth and the future updates and of course as soon as those updates themselves do come out we're diving headfirst into them absolutely asap and showing off every single little thing that they have to offer new bosses new locations new enemies you name it all that jazz is going to be shown off and god dang it bobby we are going to have an amazing time showing that jazz off as well and just like we also have all the hatchets here in addition to those two and the c4 that should be enough uh if anything we just have three c4 in our inbox from that large savings pack that we did open up but definitely notification bell hits for that update gameplay because as soon as that mercenaries updates come out we're showing off every single little thing that it has to offer doesn't matter how much of our loot we got to blow through doesn't matter how hard it is doesn't matter how expensive it is whether that be an in-game currency or even some of our money 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 and dollary dues and tears streaming down our wallet's face because yes my wallet is a face apparently uh doesn't matter to me we gonna show it off and we gonna have a god dang fan freaking fantastic time but for now there's one fan freaking fantastic time that we need to focus on i gotta put away some of this loot and we gotta prepare for today's raid <laughs> and hokey dokey boys and girls y'all can see our inventory is looking just as prepared as need be we are gonna bring the shotgun along for the ride as well just in case that this raid because i'm pretty sure we should be able to get all the loot out of this raid without causing 100 noise which is which then means we can kind of we don't necessarily need to use fully silenced weapons and in the case of the shotgun rain that we have that's really good because we have oh baby a little bit of a detour mm, how about we do this raid first and then we, we we head over to the chopper vent i think that might be a better idea because yeah because it's kind of the chopper event's kind of on i mean the raid's kind of on the way to the chopper event so I, th I think we should be able to finesse this properly but whatchamacall since we should be able to get all the loot that we want out of here without doing a hundred noise that does mean we can kind of you know use weapons that aren't necessarily silenced and here's the thing the shotgun spread the heavy barrel that gives us that skill takes the place of the silencer so I mean, listen, that's a trade-off that I'm willing to roll with, and that is the door that we want to blow through. This base is going to be separated into two parts from the research that I have done into it. Star, how do you research the base? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me tell you, you go into that YouTube search bar, you look up LDOE, and then the name of the base you are raiding, and you can actually usually find some raids of that base that give you a general idea of which rooms are worth breaking into, what chests might have good stuff, bada bing, bada boom. Boom. And just in general, it does give you kind of a very good idea and make sure that, you know, you're not wasting something as valuable as C4 accidentally breaking into an absolutely awful location or anything like that. So, yeah, this base is going to be split up into those two portions. Shotgun rain. And we're going to split up those dudes into a whole ton of pieces. Look at that guy, man. His legs just went flying everywhere. It sucks to be him. And this pistol is about to break itself, too. But we do have two of our low durability pistols that we brought along for the ride. But there's also this room over here that's mainly a couple of workbenches and, like, one chest. I'd rather, oof, okay, absolutely nothing in there. I said I'd rather break into here because I think some of these chests should have, oof, dude, are you kidding me? Are both of those things empty? Did this just, that's what this raid, ha oh my god, dear mama, this raid is poop. And listen, I know that there's a chest in here, but there's one chest and it has like some food and stuff. From the research that I was doing into this base, there was way more things into these chests. So I don't know if that little raid was outdated and the base layout changed because, dude, the best thing we got out of here was a katana. And uh, from the fact that I know that there's only going to be one chest in there and it's mainly filled with food, I'm not trying to break into there. So, wowzers. I think we may have just experienced the worst raid of our lives. This raid gets a 10 out of 10 times negative one. It gets a negative 10 out of 10, dude. What? Dude, 
And like that, like there was nothing in any of those chests. I am bamboozled, man, and I'm definitely not wasting another C4 on this stupid base. Wow, dude. That's the thing, man. Like, don't get me wrong. If, if, if I got a katana out of like a wooden base raid, I'd be okay. I, I wouldn't be too mad, but that that's what we got. And I had to use a C4 to get that. I, I'm just, I, I, I'm bamboozled right now. We're going to go to this chopper event. I mean, technically speaking, we, we still had to do that raid regardless because we do need to stay up at four skulls to maximize the chance at us getting raided and subsequently giving us a free revenge raid as well instead of having to quest for a raid from the raiders. But at least I could go and actually show off that thing that I was talking about to y'all. Uh, which we'll call the way that the mercenary system might work. I can show that off to you guys in just a second, dude. All these deer gotta go, man. Where's my doggo? God dang it, doggo. He's always getting stuck in the motorcycle. Okay, now he's free from the motorcycle. Doggo, what are you doing? Okay, I think he just went to murder a helpless deer. Oh, he just ran. He, he, what? He ran back inside the motorcycle. I am beyond bamboozled right now. Doggo, please stop running inside of the literal motorcycle and a shotgun raid. Let's try to hit both those dudes with all. Let's go. We got the level up and goodbye. It's all of you. Let's get some heals off over there. And Mr. Survivor, you got armor, but I got the shotgun rain. Goodbye to you. Hello to your loot. This is already better than the raid, dude. Already better than the raid. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. And maybe we could try to go with a little bit of deer hunting, too. Because I think our doggo is just kind of killing the deer anyways. So, doggo, you keep on killing the deer. You do your thing. Chase after those things. Take them down and ooh, already better than the raid. Literally better than the raid already. How does this happen, man? I don't, I'm, I'm bamboozled. Let's get the level up and eh, nothing super amazing. I will take the hot blooded perk. Honestly, that might come in handy if we're ever freezing our patoots off, which let's be honest, I'm probably going to freeze my patoots off at some point here. We got one more motorcycle to break into. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I like what I see. Allow me to leave that behind. And ooh, we should have a little bit of room inside of here as well that we can kind of stash some things in. So let's do that with some of the more valuable things we found. Unfortunately, not from the raid this time. These valuables are being found through an entirely different type of system. AKA dead people at a chopper event that we totally didn't kill. Don't know what you're talking about. I I found them dead here. I just capitalized on their uh, deadness. And here we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all that stuff's pretty broken down. So I'll probably, I mean, I might as well pick it up. Like if we have the inventory room, right? I'll put that away. And then that leaves us with two open inventory slots, which is what we are going to do to collect a dead deer. Hello, deer. Goodbye, deer. I wish I had like a weapon that did 25 damage, which actually is where the Winchester kind of comes in handy. Like if you want a cool deer hunting weapon, Winchester is not too bad, although you don't really need a deer hunting weapon in the first place. They're pretty easy to sneak up on and that type of jazz. Uh, come on, deer. Let's get you out of here because we still got the rest of this pistol drizzle that we could put to use. So might as well, you know, and then if we don't break it all the way, we can even recycle it back at home and try to get some EXP in exchange for it, too. I like, dude, is it the fact that this gun silenced just like keeping the deer from noticing I'm slaughtering their brethren? Because I swear they like run away if like you're killing their nearby friends and, and they're just kind of standing there like, oh, hey, hey, Jimmy, what you doing napping over there? What, what's that fella in all black doing? Oh, what, what's he pointing at me? Pew, 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 pew. Drops dead. R live reenactment of how all of this went down but we got some food for the pups and i will definitely be giving them a little bit of that you know me i like to make sure that my puppos and doggos are super well fed and nourished but with this chopper location we are complete with our business over there now our business lies in one place in one place only and that is showing off that 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 mercenary payment idea that i had because we had to wait for this raid to be completed in order to showcase it off to you guys so drum roll please without further ado ladies and gentlemen boys and girls here we are showcasing the one the only raiders 
asking for their stuff, which is exactly how the mercenary thing might work. Hello, raiders. Look at it right there. So it might be something similar to this, where depending on how much stuff you give them, they kind of like give you different types of feedback. Like, oh, wow, we're going to we're gonna take it ourselves. You give them a little bit more. It's like, is, is this a joke? And then it's like, oh, seems true. No, I could trust you. So maybe, you know, there is this system that kind of like values different items differently. And maybe that a similar system will be used where we can give a share to the mercenaries to actually hire them for our services. Maybe like pay them with some aluminum or something like that because that would give us a lot of freedom. And I mean, this is the way that it works with one faction that we interact with constantly with the Raiders. So with this new faction of the mercenaries coming into play, it may very well happen in a similar fashion. But with that said, with that done, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode A Last Day on Earth Survival. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.